Hey guys, Loogie Mast here, and today I'm gonna review Ma'at. And, yeah, this was a requested one. So, yeah. In fact, I'm gonna turn this into a series where you guys can request me Yu Gi Oh cards that you think have a bad effect. And I will, first off, before I get to the downsides, I'll tell the upsides to it. So, yeah. Let's read this card's effect, why don't we? Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending one light dragon type monster and one light fairy type monster you control to the graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, you can declare three names, excavate the top three cards of your deck, add any of them that you named to your hand, also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. This card's attack and defense each become equal to the number of cards added to your hand by this effect times 1,000. Alright, so the upsides are it doesn't say that it lasts for one turn, so potentially you could, if you kept naming them correctly, you could get a very, very powerful monster. And it sends the monsters to the graveyard so they can easily be brought back. And if your deck runs around your graveyard, it's even better if you get some of the cards you named wrong. But still, there are its downsides. For one, you declare three names, all right? And you search the top three cards of your deck. Now, the first downside is that if you have a 40 card deck, it's gonna be kind of hard to call the right names because you have such little chance of doing it. And it's even worse if you have Lego's 60 card deck. And what else can I say? I mean, I could see why the person doesn't like using this card I mean, if you know your deck so well that you know every card inside and out, I mean, that increases your chance a little of naming the right card. <laughs> but still, it's not that much more, all right? So in general, oh yeah, I forget. If you get all of them wrong, however, you can only do this once per turn, too. You won't, it won't gain any attack points. So it's basically useless sitting out on the field like that. So you're going to need some back row support. So if you're going to run this card, here are some tips I would use, suggest. <clears throat> run some spell cards that allow you to look at the top three cards of your own deck and then put them back in the same order, or put them in any order that you put them in. That way, it's easier to name the cards right. Two, have some good back row support to protect this monster. Alright? And I think that's about it. So, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creeper Cat Army. I'll see you later, recruits. Peace out.